my head. I was the best molder on the planet. Now I can't even really mold like I used to, and it breaks my heart. <sighs> Mom, I gotta always do this. I do what? I know it doesn't matter. Uh. Uh. So, what did you want to talk about? Um. Well, you said we need to talk. Yeah, but it sounded like you wanted to talk about something first, so you get your shit out of the way, and I'll get my shit out of the way. Uh, well, Fredo, one of the Italian people, reached yeah. out to me. He wants to make a reality show at the uh, Little Italy. Yeah. So I'm going to try to help source camera people. Maybe I was talking about potentially funding him, but I don't exactly know where this shit's going, so... And what like your overall plans are? Well, to, to run things as they are, but we have to just bring more life back into this. I think Alfredo's good. A uh, good start. We w listen. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot of work, and if Alfredo's mm -hmm. willing to put it in, or even you, I don't know who the fuck would be. We can make this shit crazy, Marlo. I'm talking. We have actresses, uh, actors, actresses, everything. Directors. Uh, yeah. We, we put so, Alfredo in charge. This of business. One show or movie a month. You know what I mean? Yeah, this business is all about logistics. Thanks, Denzel. And that's that comes to all the way down from just getting people to fucking set aside, you know, one to two, you know, plus hours to do a production, to the editing, to the camera people, making sure all the cameras like this this business is a lot of logistics, unfortunately. And I think now is the best time to do something like that when a lot of motherfuckers have way too much free time and don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, no, that's that's true. This would be a, a great time for it. It's just making sure that you find the right people. Yeah, I think Alfredo's a good start uh, for, as a director. The visionary, that's not the issue. It's all the grunts. That's yeah, the issue. I got grunts begging for work. I got Apple desperate for work. I got Flash desperate for work. Is we, he a good got... cameraman? They got good cameras? You got to make sure our camera's the same. You know what I mean? It's it, That's what I'm saying. It's a I lot of logistics. Okay, we don't got to go that deep into it, though. I mean... You know what I mean? It's 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 it, It'll be even funnier if the cameras aren't the same. I'm going to keep it a buck. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, we ain't, trying to, we ain't trying to make a, you know, the next Dark Knight. We're just trying to make a Family Guy episode. Yeah, fair enough. You know what I mean? I um, yeah, he, he wants to do a... What, I forget, Vine with Shores or some shit, he said? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. And then we just get all the okay. fucking grunts to do with the, the cameraman, the, you know, the microphoning, all that shit. And then once we launch this new company, motherfuckers want to be interns. We put them fucking here to work for free and help us make fucking movies and shit. Okay. And how are we funding it? Just through our other shit? Because I embezzled all the money from the state to do this shit. So, uh, we, I will fund it. The company will fund it. And then we will work with the state once we show them that, hey, we're actually producing movies. We need funding. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, yeah. What did you need to talk about? Uh, well, pretty much all this. I guess I guess we're on the same uh, wavelength of it, I guess. But uh, and, and I think I think we make it as uh, similar to the to the, uh, to the music scene. You know what I mean? Uh, In and, regards and, to... And, and, and it's shit you like doing. We get fucking actors. We get fucking actresses. Okay? They, they act in a couple of shows, whatever. That we tear these guys up, you know, A, B, C, D, whatever. And they get paid depending mm -hmm. on how good their acting skills are. Or what we deem they are okay and then long term we get other directors directors we contract they are obligated to produce a show or a movie a fucking month or some shit pretty soon we got fucking 10 directors we're pumping out entertainment to the fucking movie theater up in vinewood okay um fuckers right now would love to sit in the movie theater react and do nothing now more than ever i guarantee it <laughs> it's a perfect time for it yeah uh that movie theater ain't the like aspect ratio fucked on that thing I don't know what does that mean. What do you mean by that? Like it looks like stretched as fuck, don't it? Uh, I'm so, like sure maybe we can, can get a better screen up in Vinewood. Yeah, maybe? I'm sure we can get like a better screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those things will um, be figured out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I talked to this is like a month or so ago. XTC. Do you know them? XTC Entertainment, whatever the fuck it's called. XTC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I talked to them. This is before we even talk about potentially merging too. Um, just because they do a lot of the shit that I was doing in the past, like game shows and shit like that. Like, uh, but they're also involved in the music shit on their own. Okay, so we buy uh, now. I don't know. There's a branch under the, uh, under the entertainment company. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if that's something you potentially interested in as well. Think, think like Disney. They got Marvel. They got fucking Pixar or whatever the fuck. They got a bunch of the studios UFC. under them. You know what I mean? 
That yeah. is what we'll have, uh, whatever we name this be. And we have a bunch of sub-companies under us who are contracted and obligated to uh, produce yeah, no, that's, I, that's what I've already been doing with Marlon Entertainment. Like, I stupidly so got... Where are, are all these fucking shows that then, Marlon? I haven't seen one. Motherfucker, I told you the issues with it. If you think that it's the time, that's fine. And we can we can move forward and plod through and hope it works. But I've dealt with personnel issues the entire time. Getting people to commit to shit. Getting people to put in the, the hours. Like, yeah, see, but here, motherfuckers here, don't see it. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I think of it differently. So I get what you're saying. So let's say we hire Marlo as an actor. You're going to uh -huh. want him to be there for the week, right? It's not those people. It's the editors. It's the camera people. It's, that, it's those people. The people that, actually, that we actually need to make shit happen. How many camera people do you think you need in, in one show? Three, two? These, I think, yeah, generally like two or three. Um, the Italians wanted six. They want six camera people? Oh my God. Yeah. For what? I don't know, different Holy angles. Shit. Okay, who, have you spoken to, Alfre uh, we should speak to Alfredo, but editors should be, listen, I will literally hire uh third-party editors from overseas it's very okay. simple to get that part done like no problem all right um yeah i mean that's that's literally that's why we kind of switched to you know live tv where we, we still have the camera people we don't gotta edit shit we don't gotta produce shit for like future episodes on tv that's kind of why i pivoted to that side of things and we did a lot of live tv shit but um like actually getting shit on the screen that was uh that was one of the hurdles that it was just fucking Why was it a, hurdle? a nightmare. Again, just getting people like editing the the, so the editing is probably like the biggest hurdle, right? I mean, think about footage too. You got let's say you have three people getting footage. Like that's that's a fucking thing too, yeah, getting so that really all getting to one footage, source. Yeah. yeah, you gotta talk to three different people. Yeah, it's just all, all logistics and shit. Like that's the only like it's just the it's the world we live in. It is what it is. Um but it is like trying to get that done every single time for every single production. That's what became the hurdle. So why don't we just do max two cameraman per show, per show, and if you can't produce a show with two cameraman, you're just not cut for the job. Yeah, I can see it. Then that's way easier, you know what I mean? At, at least in the beginning, right? Then maybe maybe if that shit's working, you can up it to three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like if people are down to actually do the, the grunt work of it, this can be amazing. It's just that I haven't been able to find people that were willing to do that. People want to do the show aspect of it. They want to do what the show's about, but making it and producing it, that's been the issue. Why? Especially for like, think of like, like maybe something more long form, right? Like, like the Survivor show that Andy did, or I, I did two Survivor shows myself. That's not yeah. like a five to 10 minute thing. If you're going to edit that out, like that's like maybe like 30 minutes to an hour an episode. You ain't going to get people to sit down and watch that in the city. 100 percent right. you are. Like so that I that's you are. Now, now more than ever you are. Maybe back then when people had shit to do, I, I guarantee you, right now if I had a, an hour long fucking movie to put in that movie theater, the entire city would sit there and watch it. Once, I, 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 I mean, uh, yeah, yeah watch, that's all we need is just watch it once and move on to the next one, right? But, but they'll, they'll watch. Uh, but they ain't gonna. I'm saying like you will get diminishing returns. Sure, the the premiere, the first premiere might be fucking up, crazy. Five, ten premieres down the road, it, it ain't gonna be that much. What the fuck is about the first fucking premiere? What do you mean? I thought you want this to be a long, long form business. You want it to keep going. I'm not saying like I'll the first premiere well, of the well, one episode. I'm talking about like episode seven. Oh, you're yeah, gonna no, get diminishing each returning time. Will, will be a premiere for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's more so that people are gonna be like, ah, I went to the last one. I don't really got. I don't want really want to go do that again. Yeah. Same with ooh, fucking you parties. You gotta fuck. think about you like how be, many people you, you, there are in this city. You also and gotta like, think about all, all the people who are watching at home. You know what I mean? They probably love that shit. Yeah, no, that's that's for sure. And that's just the that's the grunt work part. The people like all the fucking locals and, and everyone else at home are gonna love the shit. I just don't know if long form makes sense in the city when it comes to motherfuckers actually willing to sit down. If you again, we just see it differently. You you see it that people would be. I see it as people wouldn't be. Okay, so and I'm solid. I'm happy to be proven wrong. Max max airtime is like fifteen or thirty minutes, period, per per thing that we do. And anything yeah, that's, that's, that's what we we're aiming for. Out. Yeah. And it's just um there's a lot of things that can be fifteen to thirty minutes. There's just a lot of things that also can't be, right? Uh right. Can I make a suggestion as well? Uh maybe like at these premieres you can also get feedback from the people that are watching it. 
to see if they think, oh, maybe it was a little too long for my taste, or hey, I wish it could be longer, you know, get some feedback from the people I actually go and watch. Uh, I think we just consolidate 15 to 30 minutes an episode, and anything is just not possible, we just don't do. So if we have a fucking game show that comes up, and we're like, yeah, we're not gonna be able to cut this down to a 15 minute thing, we just don't do it. Yeah, well, you remember the Cerberus uh, versus Guild, <laughs> that's funny, um, Family Feud thing we did, right? Yeah, that's 15 minutes easily. That was 45 minutes. And that was cutting a bunch of shit out. Well, why are you demoralizing me? <laughs> it's not, I'm a realist and you have to, I want to go into this business. I want this to be great. But I've been trying to do it for two years. It's, if we can get over these hurdles, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm telling you all this shit because if you have ideas and ways to get around it, that's perfect. The, there's already a simple solution to that. You just make the game show shorter. You cut actual content from the game show game shows a little shorter and then it's not a 45 minute episode but i'm just letting you know like these are the hurdles that i've already come across i'm not gonna have you go into the business yeah, yeah, yeah. and then have to make all the same mistakes i did uh okay I'm trying to think about this. I think we fuck it. We try it. We fail because of fuck. Yeah. No. And it's not like like that part. The the thing I just said about the game show, like that's more so. I was just letting you know, like it didn't feel like that long, but it was 45 minutes. And like other than just cutting out rounds, which wouldn't make drone sense. Drone cameras. Um. <laughs> that capture. You, that? you know. You know, like the third person hey. drone cameras. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just got got to worry about you know. If there's like, you know, any advertising that the drones pick up that, you know. True. Right. Like if people are throwing their own ads out there and shit, you got to worry about right. if their microphones are picking up maybe things that we, we normally wouldn't pick up. You know, if they're speaking under their breath, it's uh, again, I've been I've been here. I've been doing this. It's uh, this. I wanted this to be how the music, the music team was popping off back in the day. I wanted it to. And it can be. If the right people are there and if people are willing to put in work, this can be amazing. That's just the if. Okay. I got to cook this. I got to think about it more. Uh, I'm going to call yeah. Alfredo later. Are you going to be around? Yeah, I'll be around. We'll probably talk. Me and you, Alfredo, can talk and then figure this out. All right. All right. Sounds good. You know, the more and more we talk about the movie stuff and the TV stuff, the more it really does have such potential, to be honest. It does, but Marvel's not wrong. The logistics, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of hurdles. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think even real, like, the more I think about it, it's fucking crazy, the logistics. It's not wrong. Uh, we go Roosters, I, guys. Yeah. yeah. The only way you but, pull it off is if you find people. Like, Dylan was great because he was so passionate about it. He just loved to edit shit and make, you know, shows and whatnot. So, I don't know. I also felt like I, you know, I felt like I feel like if the, uh, you know, if the world or <clears throat> if the dollar meant more to people in this city, I think it would also be better to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 